All right, guys, so Battlefield 2042 finally released worldwide, and I've been waiting to make this video because guess what? There's a lot of things that weren't included with the early access, some bug fixes and stuff like that, stuff we've known about for a little bit. We knew that was kind of the case. So how do I feel about the launch state post release of this game? How do I feel about Battlefield 2042? Well, like I said in my previous video, I'm having a lot of fun with this game, but just because I'm having fun with the game doesn't make it a good game. And I'm going to go on a limb and saying out of all the releases of a Battlefield game ever, this is by far my worst experience yet. Yes, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, which had a very buggy and messy launch, Battlefield 3, Battlefield Bad Company 2. I've played those Battlefield games I've named, including Bad Company 1. So yes, those are the list of Battlefield games I have played except for Hardline. So that's why I didn't hear, you didn't hear me include it. But so far at launch, I'm not enjoying this game. I am not playing it as much and there is so many buggy things so many frustrating foundational issues with the game that is just disheartening so one thing to mention is that there is a reddit post going around listing a lot of the features removed from the battlefield franchise in general when leading up to this game and for one this list is kind of pushing it a lot of these things are design choices so I'm sure DICE looked at some stuff and said, hey, let's not do this anymore. Like the attrition system, like the vehicles, you know, reloading and stuff like that, having to go back and supply and heal up, things like that. Things that made the game very, very grindy. I'm sure that's something they want to remove from Battlefield 5 with this title. But some things that maybe they didn't do was the weapon count. Was that intentional? Did you guys really have to do 22 weapons or were you shoehorned into a time frame to release this game at a certain day despite everything else like i honestly i said this before this game should have been delayed further and with the release of halo infinite early and call of duty vanguard which are both phenomenal titles first person shooters right now i think we have gone through probably the best shooter drop rate of like you know quality of shooters we have gotten in a very long time it's been like since probably say halo 3 came out before we got this rich of a shooter pool to play as a first person shooter gamer but yeah, let me go back on topic. Battlefield 2042 was not ready to compete with any of these titles, and it should have been delayed to a window where one, the game was in a proper state, proper launch state. We had more content, things like that. And at the same time, gave it room to breathe against these strong powerhouse titles and franchises. Battlefield is a strong title, but at the same time, when it doesn't release in a proper state like this one, guess what guys no one's gonna give a shit so the moral of the story of this video what i've been saying this whole time is i'm not posting a battlefield 24 2 video until this game gets in its proper state for one i'm tired of ea doing this shit with battlefield it's disgusting leadership is faulting the franchise again again and again battlefield can be a phenomenal title we have seen it with battlefield 4 and battlefield 3 so there's no need for this bullshit to keep on happening and guess what guys bad company 2 released in march of 2009 or 2010 the, the year that modern warfare came out it released and um guess what it's one of the greatest battlefield games of all time it got room to breathe it was post the massive release of modern warfare 2 to hit the world one of the greatest if not the greatest call of duty my personal favorite call of duty ever made and it survived it thrived why couldn't they do something similar here release it in march give this game an opportunity to thrive and you can polish out your games it's uh it's it's ludicrous and a lot of my problems i'm saying guys isn't the bugs have you guys noticed me talking about bugs 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 no i'm talking about features i'm talking about the core fundamentals of the game a lot of the shit just wasn't given enough thought weapon content mediocre we're talking about a gunsmith feature in call of duty vanguard I'm going to say this right now. It is so disgusting that an indie game called World War III has more in-depth weapon customization than a AAA shooter called Battlefield 2042. World War III inspired the gunsmith system. Call of Duty saw that and said, hey, let's do it. Now, do I know that they saw that? Probably not, but I could take a good guess and saw that, hey, look at this indie team do a system like this. Let's try to do something like this because it, one, helps weapon customization. Another thing, too, it helps player customization in terms of player gameplay styles why couldn't dice do that like it's kind of a norm and then we have this kitty jokey customization system oh my god like it's it it wasn't given enough thought i feel like this game was rushed together for a release and that's ea's motto with their multiplayer live service games we've seen it with anthem we've seen it with mass effect andromeda we have seen it with multiple battlefield titles now it's just absolutely unreal and yeah again more weapons 
better designed maps in terms of focusing on some infantry combat or at least some engaging combat like i do get a lot of moments of high octane stuff but there's no flow to each map and even though i like a lot of these maps there's not enough flow for me to be like hey this feels like a very properly designed well thought of very play tested map it doesn't feel like that kind of feels like you play breakthrough you have a good time chaos and that's that you can play conquest which i'm having fun with but at the same time there's parts of the map that just don't flow right at all and you kind of feel like what am i doing it's just it's kind of crazy and then the gun mechanics are just all out of whack nothing's polished the weapons don't perform how they should weapons have crazy bloom than they intended and that's just all ridiculous it creates a frustrating experience and guys it's not what you want to have on your launch release window you want to have a fun experience you want to have a honeymoon period of time and not once did i ever have a honeymoon period of time with this game and that's troublesome so this is the worst release window or release of a battlefield game ever yes ever battlefield 4 had some crazy ass fucking bugs but i had so much fun with that game battlefield 3 was frustrating and the suppression system was crazy and all these different things but guess what i had more fun with that game than i have with battlefield 2042 and yes i'm having tons of fun with this game but i'm not playing as much as i could or should be compared to other titles i play like a one or two games and i'm like yeah let's go to halo infinite let's go to call of duty like it's it's something I never thought I'll be saying. And even though Portal's great, it's a phenomenal fun mode. It's not enough. And nostalgia only works so much so far. So until they do more, until they add more, I'm not going to be covering this game at all. Maybe when it comes to some updates, some patches, some positive news in terms of some updates and fixes. But when it comes to gameplays, best setups, montages, none of that just yet. I'm going to hold off with that stuff. But with that being said, guys, that's all I got to say on this video. If you guys have been playing Battlefield 2042, let me know what you guys' experiences. If you want to share, are you having a blast and you think it's the greatest game? Or are you like me, having fun, but massively disappointed and think that it should have been delayed? I've been seeing a lot of people, and I've said this before, this game should have been delayed. There's nothing wrong with that. I would have been perfectly fine. Those saying that, hey, I get to play it while it gets fixed. No, guys, this isn't a free to play game. This isn't an early access game where you pay $15 to play early and then you have to pay a little bit more later to play the full version. That's just, this is not that. This is re released as a full price game and in some cases released at an astronomical more price than it should be worth. And yeah, it, don't play that excuse because this shit will keep on happening and happening and happening and we need to be a little bit better about that. So it's got to say that about. You know, people making that, oh, it's going to get fixed in six months. Well, that shouldn't be the case. It should have been delayed six months. That was the case. But yeah, massive fan of the franchise. No one can tell me otherwise. I have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours into multiple games. So no one can talk shit to me about me not being a veteran. So yeah, that's not me trying to be an asshole. That's just me trying to say like, hey, this is the consensus of a lot of people out there that love Battlefield. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to share, if you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, definitely drop this video a like. If you guys are new here, want more content from me, whether it's Call of Duty Vanguard, Halo Infinite, Destiny 2, or hopefully that align some more positive Battlefield 2042 videos when they start getting their act together, definitely hit that subscribe button. With that being said, guys, all I got to say on this one, Shannon G here, and I'm out.